Welcome, this is hands-on reactive programming with Spring 5. My name is Tomasz Leggett, I am a software engineer, programming mostly in Java and Scala. I am a fan of microservices architecture and functional programming. I am working in Spring applications on production for past 5 years. So let's see what we will learn throughout this course. This course will consist of 6 sections. In the section number 1 we will be exploring reactive programming. So we'll create a project and we'll see main dependencies. Then we'll be adding automated testing to your application. So we'll see how can we leverage testing of reactive flows to make them more maintainable. Third section will be about working with Spring Reactor in cloud. So we'll combine Reactor, cloud and Spring Boot together. Then section number four will be about reactive programming with Spring Web Flags. So we'll be adding web flags to expose our reactive logic as an REST endpoint. Section number five will be about debugging your reactive Spring application. So we'll see how to tweak and reason about reactive flows. Finally, we'll be building a reactive Spring application with Spring data. There are a couple of prerequisites to this course. So you need to have Java installed. You need to have some modern IDE. The best is IntelliJ IDE and modern laptop or desktop. And this course is for Java and Spring developers who want to get started with reactive programming. No knowledge of reactive programming is needed. However, we assume that you will have a working knowledge of Java and Spring framework and its concepts. Let's go through key features. So what you will gain from watching this course. So first you will understand the functionalities of reactive programming to deliver a smooth user experience by making your applications responsive. Then you will explore the latest update of Spring 5 framework to simplify the way you write code and create robust enterprise application. Finally, you will see how to design reliable and scalable applications by applying reactive programming with Spring 5. And let's go to the first section that will be exploring reactive programming. 